passed this TV. I love this chapter in Romans 5, 1 through 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience. Patience, experience, experience, hope. Hope makes not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. No, I love to run to grace. We all love to run to grace when we sin. We long to be embraced by God's grace. And, and we're right to believe he will draw us to himself and forgive our sins only by grace, through faith, for his own purposes. In fact, the first step, I think, to real spiritual growth, the mark of grace, is to consent to be loved by God even when we don't feel worthy. He loves us not because we're good, but because he's love. Now, there's a progression here. The grace that saved us and the grace that keeps us, the grace in which we stand, is also the grace that sustains us in hard times. Over in 1 Peter, the first chapter, he says, uh, uh, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that fades not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Get this, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through many trials, manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be dried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearance of Jesus Christ. And uh, Paul, recall in, in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, he said three times he begged God to remove this ailment that he had, whatever it was, and God replied, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. And Paul's godly response, More gladly, therefore, I will glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. I often repeat the last bit of wisdom my father gifted me with. He was only weeks away from going home to glory. He was in pain from the cancer that had invaded his head. He was in much pain. And he looked across the living room at me and he said, You know, Stephen, it's awful easy to pray thy will be done when it looks like a good outcome. He got it. See, in the end, he had grace. God's great grace that eased his passage. In the end, that's all we have, any of us as well. Grace to save, grace to keep, and grace to get us safely home. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.